Hey there, welcome back. Um, how about a little more about my life here in Hanover? I've been asked for more and more. I think every time I make a video, somebody comes up with something like, show me more about your daily life in Hanover. Um, so I'm about to show you firsthand. Uh, this is gonna be a horrible video. <laughs> I apologize because I'm taking you for a bike ride. Los Gates. Now, um, one reason that I really love being here in Hanover is because for one, in the US, I'm sick of driving. Uh, I spent about 21 years driving a car and I loved it for a lot of that, don't get me wrong, but I just drove so much. And um, part of my work, you know, necessity, you know, proof that I'm riding my bike. Um, and I just got really sick of it. So once I started coming here to Hanover and realizing that, that I can get around by bike, like I, I just loved, I fell in love with the concept. And yeah, so. I get around my bike all the time. Right now, um, today is a beautiful day in Hanover. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Look, there's the moon. Um, yeah, maybe you've recognized that I'm riding alongside the Grossa Gardens. Anyway, um, so I love getting around my bike. That is my, this, I can't, there we go. Sorry, I told you, I warned you that this was going to be a horribly filmed video. But, um, I've had, I've had wipeouts and some good accidents. Um, there was a period, I think I had to relearn how to ride a bike when I came here. Um, for some reason there was a while where I kept crashing into my buddy Mo. Um, I don't know, like, yeah, maybe some beers were involved, but anyway, um, I've even been hit by a car once and it surprises me with, with how often so many people around Hanover are riding bikes that so few people watch out for bikes, especially cars. Now, I know this rule with some of the smaller streets that you have to yield, you have to watch for the, the traffic coming from your right. I know this rule, but one day um, I was in like, I was on a street where the guy on the right had to stop and watch for me, but it was, it was dark. My lights were working, everything was fine. So it wasn't my fault. I almost just got fucking hit by a car. Like, like, I'm talking about getting hit by a car and like that mini up there. Like, yeah, he tried squeezing in. I didn't plan that, obviously. Anyway, so back to actually getting hit by a car. Um, yeah, the guy didn't, like, he wasn't watching and he pulled out and um, I saw him coming and I tried swerving out of the way and he just kind of bumped and scraped me. Okay, hold on, I'm going to stop for a moment. Because actually I know what I'm doing is not legal. I shouldn't be riding and doing this and I'm getting into some heavier traffic. I could have pulled up next to that mini and like tapped on the dude's window or something, but I thought I would be nice about that. Um, so anyway, back to getting actually hit by a car. The dude, he was an old guy and he wasn't watching and he pulled out. I saw that he was not stopping and he just kept going. And I was able to kind of swerve around and 
he I didn't even get knocked down or anything it hit the just missed my leg and um, broke a piece of plastic and the rear the rooklicht the rear light but it could have been a lot worse for sure like I've seen people like um, do endos like t-bone the car and flip over and it, it can be nasty so why are people not watching for bikes I don't know I really don't know but walking I've talked about that before um, a lot of people are not walking or watching um, but that's a little bit more about my daily life sadly with corona some things are quite boring I don't have a whole lot to show you at the moment I need to think of some good ideas um, if there's something that you want to see specifically or know more about me please leave a comment let me know um, subscribe I appreciate that and um, enjoy your bike ride but watch out for cars yeah just next to them all choose